told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, I'm Jamila but everyone calls me Jamra And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back guys, welcome back So, in today's video, we're meant to do a bill prep so if you guys haven't watched my previous video, I did mention that I'm going through a weight loss journey. So I thought I'm going to take you guys along my weight loss journey. So I'm going to do a meal prep. Then I decided to pop and show you guys what I got from Aldi. So we went to good old Aldi because on this channel we like us a bargain. Yep, yeah? we went to good old Aldi because we want a bargain. So guys, I went to Aldi with only 14 pounds and 10 pence in my pockets. Yeah. Guys, guess how much we spent. Our total came up to 11 pounds and 4 pence. Who doesn't like a bargain? So guys, I'm going to show you what we got from Aldi. I got me Aldi bread. And I'm going to tell you how much I paid for them. So I got the uh, Super Seed Farmhouse um, Loaf, that's the one that I got, the Super Seed Farmhouse Loaf, and this one cost um, 99p, that's good, not bad, and then I've got us, so I think I'm going to go through, because I've got my receipt here. I'm gonna go by the list on the receipt to make it much easier. So I got a mixed veg which was 69p. This one. I love these veggies guys. This was 69p, which is not bad either. And I got potatoes, the basic potatoes, which was 95p, also not bad. And then I got um, the cauliflower and broccoli florets. Yeah, cauliflower and broccoli floret. I think that was the only expense. No, actually, apart from that, there was something else that was expensive. But this one was expensive for the what you're getting. This one costs one pound fifteen pence. And then I got the baby plum. The tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, which was also 65p. And then I got the carrots because I was too lazy to actually get a carrot and then cut them. So I got the ones that I already cut for you, which cost only 67 pence as well. And then I got olive oil, so that was the most expensive one, olive oil, which costs £2.79. I mean, olive oil is expensive, so I'm not surprised about the price. The only thing I'm surprised about is the cauliflower and broccoli floret for the price. £1.15, that's a bit much for Aldi, yeah. And then I got the uh, mixed leaf salad, which costs 60 p each, and I got two because they only have the small pack, so I got two. That's the second one. So I got two of those, which cost 60 pence each. And then I got the baby spinach. Baby spinach, which cost 80p for the small one. I didn't check the price for the big one because sometimes I get the big one and I can't finish all of it and then it goes off. So this time I said, no, let me try the small one. So I got the small packet, which cost 80 pence. And then lastly, I got the... Um, Oh, I got sweet potatoes, but I don't see that in here. Hmm. Wait, didn't they charge me for the sweet potatoes? Guys, I think, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think they didn't charge the sweet potatoes because I can't see that in here. Oh, okay, I skipped it. That's why. That one cost 95 pence as well. Same as the baby potatoes, they cost 95 pence as well. I just found it. So in total, my total came up to 11 pounds, four pence. And I had 14 pounds, 10 pence in my purse. So that's good, not bad. That's a good bargain, not bad. 
I had changed to even get me um, boneless chicken thighs. Yeah, so I had changed to get me boneless chicken thighs. They've taken the skin off, no bones, nothing. Yeah, so I got this from the corner shop next to me, a Turkish shop next to me. So that's why I got this. So that's all I got. These are the meal prep bowls that I'll be using. I purchased it from Amazon. It's microwave friendly. Um, I've tried it in the microwave. Um, it doesn't become flimsy after one use. Like you can use it for a long time. Okay guys, enough about holes. Let's get into the fun part. I started off by cutting my potatoes into smaller chunks. So I'm using the baby potatoes and I'm leaving the skin on because that's where all the fibers are. So after that, I place my potato on a low medium heat to slowly cook. Okay guys, so now that our potatoes are slowly cooking, I'm now prepping the veggies. So I've got some courgettes, carrots, cauliflower and broccoli florets, red onions. I'll also be using some mushrooms which I'll be soaking up in vinegar and water for five minutes. So whilst that's soaking up, I'm prepping my sweet bell peppers as well. So at this point, my mushroom had soaked up for five minutes. So I rinsed it out from the vinegar water and cut the mushroom into my preferred sizes. By the time I was done, the potatoes were onto done cooking. Guys, talk about timing, perfect timing. So I then transferred my nicely cleaned mushrooms into the same pot to cook under low medium heat. So guys, now I'm ready to bake our cooked potatoes. I transferred it on a baking tray and seasoned it with some olive oil, black pepper, pasta seasoning, oregano and some suya spice. Guys, when you cook your potatoes before baking it, it leaves it crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. So guys, now we're moving on to marinate our salmon. To that, I've added my salt to taste again with the pasta seasoning um chili and lemon seasoning mixed herbs paprika um, black pepper olive oil um, some honey and some soy sauce i then mixed that all together thoroughly and placed it into my baking tray and into my oven it goes so i then moved on to steam my broccoli and cauliflower for about five to ten minutes guys for my chicken i'm using boneless chicken thighs because i feel chicken breast is too dry for me so for the marinade i added some salt to taste paprika lemon and chili seasoning black pepper ginger powder mixed herbs and some suya spice from Jana to kitchen i added some olive oil and mixed it thoroughly making sure all parts of the chicken are coated then preheated my pan with some olive oil and fried my chicken for 15 minutes on each side Guys, once the chicken was ready, we moved on to our stir fry. To our pan, I added three tablespoons of olive oil and onions and grated two cloves of garlic and sauteed it for about three minutes. I then added some courgettes, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower and sauteed it for about five minutes. I added half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika and salt to taste. I later added my chicken and sauteed it for an extra five minutes and our stir fry was ready. Once our stir fry was ready, our potatoes and salmon was also ready. Talk about perfect time. As I had cooked some brown rice off camera, so I needed some veggies to go with it. So to my pan, I added olive oil and onion and sauteed for two minutes. I then added my veggies, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of vegetable seasoning and salt to taste. I then added some of my chicken and steamed mushroom and sauteed for five minutes and it was ready to be added to our rice. Guys, when I told you this day was a back-to-back -back cooking. Hmm. I now moved on to my quinoa. I started off by rinsing it off three times until the water ran clear. Under low medium heat, I cooked my quinoa for about five minutes. So whilst that was happening, I started mixing up some concoction. 
guys when i tell you this made the quinoa taste amazing hmm, don't get me started into my calabash i added two tablespoons of olive oil one teaspoon of cumin powder i added some pasta seasoning black pepper and half a teaspoon of paprika and mixed it thoroughly so once the sauce was ready the quinoa was also ready so i mixed it with the quinoa Guys, the reason why I love quinoa is because it's gluten free and I'm trying to cut down my carb intake. Try this recipe and you won't eat quinoa any other way. It's lastly, it was time to prepare our salad. I used two bags of Aldi's crispy salad. So to that, I added some red and green bell peppers, onions and some plum tomatoes. I finished it off with half a lemon and olive oil and mixed it thoroughly. And our salad was ready. So now we are ready to dish our food into our meal prep bowl. I'll be leaving the link for the bowl into the description box below so what i did was the brown rice quinoa and potato went into my smaller compartment while the salad and veggies went into the bigger compartment so i paired my rice with some crispy salad the quinoa and potatoes were paired with some vegetable stir fry and salmon at the end of it i had some leftover salad and chicken so i mixed them together and got three bowls out of it guys i tell you that chicken took my salad to another level it took my salad to another level too bad i ran out of soya spice i'll definitely be purchasing more because i need me more of that salad guys guys now that all that cooking is done it's now time for everyone's worst nightmare which is washing the dishes yes guys everyone hates washing the dishes <laughs> so yeah once i finished washing the dishes i arranged my food in the fridge i cleaned my fridge i cleaned all my surfaces i was using the fabuloso guys i love fabuloso i've got a whole lot of the products in my kitchen i use it to clean my bathroom and everything so once i finished cleaning the surfaces i hoovered the floor whilst i was doing that i was also having fun watching youtube videos i was watching oma bell she's one of my favorite youtubers guys i love watching her videos so yeah just enjoy watching me clean my kitchen i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away okay so guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed cooking with me and let me know if you guys enjoyed this meal prep with me so i can do more of meal prep but yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe share with your fam your friends guys you need to blow up this channel yeah we need to blow up this channel we need to get to 1k you get me yeah so that's it for today's video i'll see you guys in my next video bye Too long.